You tell me. Check this out. This all started with a train derailment in East Palestine, Ohio, a town of nearly 5,000 people. Five of the cars that derailed were carrying vinyl chloride, a dangerous chemical linked to multiple cancers. It's used to make a whole bunch of things, from car parts to PVC piping. But on its own, vinyl chloride can cause blisters, headaches, dizziness, and can be deadly if breathed in for too long. It's also unstable, and at least one of the train cars was at risk of exploding and sending deadly shrapnel flying as far as a mile. And while that massive explosion didn't end up happening, many are wondering if the way authorities are going about mitigating the incident is the best course of action. To avoid a catastrophic explosion, officials conducted a controlled release of vinyl chloride a few days after the derailment. They pierced the train cars so the vinyl chloride could drain into a trench and burn. It resulted in this. Authorities said that the controlled burn would release hydrogen chloride and phosgene into the air. Yes, as in World War I chemical weapon phosgene. So what does that mean for residents? Well, everyone living within at least a two-mile radius of the derailment site was ordered to evacuate. Ahead of the controlled burn, authorities released an evacuation map and essentially said if you're in this area, leave or risk dying because of toxic fumes. Authorities have been monitoring the air and water quality since the controlled release started and said that none of the readings were concerning. But many evacuated residents still have questions, namely when they'll be able to return home safely. While the possibility for a massive explosion is no longer a danger, there's been no timeline given for when it will be safe for people to return to the affected area. Um, uh, yeah, what? This is the Dan Bongino show. You sound, those chemicals sound all... I want to get well, up to the. Uh, uh, we're going to get up to the video by the now, tic I, again, TikTok some, guy that I, I reported here. on I yesterday. Why did to burn them off? Is this one of those? So these, let's make this problem go away quickly. Things. Well, Dan, the government, the EPA, and everyone else they are suggesting others. Well, I don't trust the government, okay, uh, about anything because they lie all the time. Yeah, I'm for not sure. suggesting there's some kind of scandal or cover up here. I, I don't know that. I am. I wanted to, you know. One of the things, you know, Dan Bongino, um, he's never been in the military. And uh, one of the questions that I've got is where were the material safety data sheets on the, all of this uh, uh, chemicals that they just uh, exploded? Now, you, uh, you just heard the first report, and I'm not sure where in the video he's going to come up on the, um, the TikTok video. But this guy, I, I, I can't believe I'm getting my news from TikTok. <laughs> This is where we are in the United States. We're in the former Soviet Union. Do you understand that as far as our news media goes? I mean, really what we need is radio-free Mexico so that they can beam over, like we had radio-free Europe when we beamed it over in the Soviet Union. We need radio-free Mexico to beam over the news so that we can find out what the hell's going on. But anyway, at least... Right now, uh, YouTube hasn't censored everybody. We'll, we'll get into more of that in a minute. Guessing, however, that I don't take the government's first answer as the right one ever. And if you stick to that policy, you'll probably be better off in the long run. I'm hoping we get to the second. So, what is video. this vinyl chloride chemical? Oh, this is it. Exactly yeah, this is you. coming up. Because it sounds a little bit dangerous to me. Well, this. Gentlemen on TikTok. Uh, this is it. Uh, this is it. This is the video. Kind of chemical engineer you got to pay close guys. attention to what this guy says. Challenging. I, just, I, don't, I don't know the man personally. I'm not a chemical You've expert. You've seen this on some media outlets, conservative media outlets. Mm -hmm. Mostly only Fox has been reporting on this. Everyone else is ignoring the story. But yeah, sure, yeah, yeah. All, the, all of your MSDNC, CBS, ABC, none of those channels are going to report on this. So listen to this gentleman about vinyl chloride. So and this, uh, what it does, basically, when it's burned off, uh, this doesn't sound that great for the environment. Think of this. Vinyl chloride is really toxic. OSHA has the permissible limit of how much you can be exposed to it during an eight-hour shift as a one ppm part per million, average over eight hours. So prior to this, the biggest spill of this chemical was in New Jersey, where one train car and about 23,000 gallons of vinyl chloride were spilled, but it didn't catch on fire. Now, this crash in Ohio has five train cars. These kinds of tanker cars can carry between 25 and 33,000 gallons. 33, but it's called like 250 to 250,000 pounds of vinyl chloride. That's per train car, five train cars. There's maybe a million pounds of this toxic chemical spilling into the ground and also boiling off into the air. But then it caught on fire. I think this is where the reporting is really bad because no one is mentioning what the byproduct of vinyl chloride burning is. Unbelievable. Of the many byproducts of burning vinyl chloride, one of them is hydrogen chloride. Hydrogen chloride is really unstable and latches onto water, like just water vapor in the atmosphere. And that turns into hydrochloric acid. So right now, government officials, officials from the railroad, both the governor of Pennsylvania and Ohio are calling burning off the million pounds of this stuff a success 
But not mentioning that it means that we have hundreds of thousands of pounds of acid in the air, potentially. Wow, that sounds bad. Wow. <laughs> that sounds bad. <laughs> what an understatement. It's Chernobyl. Um, anyway, there were, uh, there were a lot of reports today. Um, uh, and and we're going to get into more of the video here because I'm kind of centering on this this uh, train derailment story. By the way, I, I'm going to update my description of to the eco terrorists, warmongering Democrats. That's going to be the theme of of my videos from this point forward. So the eco terrorists, warmongering Democrats. Uh, have caused all of this. Uh, and of course, you know, we now know that they blew up the uh, Nord Stream pipeline. According to Cy Hirsch, uh, the world believes it. I mean, we are basically uh, becoming the most hated nation on the face of the planet. Um, it's unbelievable what the, uh, the warmongering, or well, the eco-terrorist warmongering Democrats are doing to the United States. But we'll get more into that in just a minute. So today there were reports that uh, chickens are dying, livestock is dead. Um, there were reports of, they, and, and the FDA, where's the FDA? You know, oh my God, they were telling people, yeah, it's safe to go back to your houses. It's not safe. There were, there were people reporting on the fact that their eyes were burning, their, their, their skin was on fire, just like with CS gas. I mean, I know what chemical warfare is all about. This is... This is, this is an ecological disaster on the scale that n that's not even being reported on. Oh, my God. I, I, our media has is just, they've been taken over by the uh, uh, Biden, or the, the eco-terrorist warmongering Democrats, and that's all. They, they'll just report on any propaganda that they want to put out to the American people. Nobody knows what's going on. Holy shit. This is the biggest story other than the blowing up or, or committing an act of uh, terrorism against uh, Germany. By the way, there were other nations that owned a piece of that pipeline that uh, uh, Biden blew up. Uh, I, don't, I don't even understand how they're not going, uh, facing uh, criminal trials at this point, but uh, I guess it's just, uh, then that's why I said we're the Soviet Union. It's just a matter of time until this nation completely just disintegrates. Just like the Soviet Union did. There's no way that we can exist like this. The world hates us. Every nation on the face of the planet, even NATO is turn turning against the United States. We're going to be completely isolated here because of the eco-terrorist warmongering Democrats. Oh, man, let me get off my box and just report on the, on, on the things that I wanted you to know. So these people are going back to their houses. They're saying their skin's burning, their eyes hurt. Uh, why are they even being allowed to go back to their houses? Now, I, I understand I would want to go back to my house. Let me describe how, and I'm hoping that somebody in Ohio is going to watch this video or maybe forward this video to somebody in Ohio because I want to explain to you. I understand you've got stuff in your household. Maybe you've got precious metals. Maybe you've got um, uh, things that you need to survive. Uh, maybe you left cash behind. <coughs> There's only one way you can go home at this point. It's just like Chernobyl, okay? It's radioactive. The entire area is radioactive. It's a chemical freaking nightmare. Do not go back to your home without the proper equipment. I don't care what your government is telling you. Your government is lying to you. They are lying to you. Do you understand? They lied about the jab. They lied about everything in the last four or five years if you haven't learned that by now and so we're going to get into because i got i i got banned from youtube for reporting on masks okay let me show you what a real mask is all right I, okay i'm going to tell you now i think i can say this on youtube uh a cloth mask or one of them little flimsy, you know, blue things that you wear and that they wear around the hospital, it's going to protect you against a sneeze, uh, you know, or whatever you might be uh, to a certain extent on what you're breathing out. It's not going to protect you against chemicals in the air. Do you understand what a nerve agent is? What you're going to need, okay, and everybody should have one of these. This is a 3M full faceplate medium mask complete. All right, let me show you what it looks like. All right, I keep one of these in my house. Let me, uh, daggone, I didn't get my glasses. Uh, let me read about 
the specs on this thing. This is what you need to go back into the chemical environment. Please, Ohio, listen to my video. This is what you need to understand. Uh, before use, the wearer must read and understand while well, the use directions. Uh, N-I-O-S-H approved. Uh, C insert for approval label. Use for respiratory, respiratory protection. Now, the cloth mask is not going to give you the respiratory protection that you need in a chemical environment. Okay, YouTube, you're going to take down my video for saying that? No, it's not going to work. Respiratory protection against certain airborne contaminants when used in accordance with all user instructions. And do not use for contaminant concentrations which are unknown, immediately dangerous to life and health, which these chemicals are. But, I mean, if you got to go back to your house, at least you got some damn protection, right? A much better than a damn cloth, you know, a little blue thing on your face. Uh, applicable regulations... Uh, U.S. Occupational Safety and Health Administration, OSHA. Boy, they used to be I, I, a respected organization. I don't respect anything in the U.S. government anymore. Um, store and obviously store this in a clean, dry place. I just keep it in a closet. So anyway, that's that's what you need. All right. So this is the mask, and see it. it also, look, it's got the eye covering, uh, the face covering, plus the filters. All right. So. That's that's this would protect your eyes and everything. So what are you going to want over top of the mask? You're going to want a chemical cover. All right. So you put this on over top of the mask, just like so. Okay. Make sure you got your 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 skin covered. You pull this down and you tie it off. Okay. This is what it looks like. This is called a chemical warfare suit. Everybody should have one. What the hell's wrong with people? I don't understand it. Now this, this is a war grade chemical warfare suit. Okay? And this has everything that you need. It's got the charcoal, it's got a charcoal liner. Okay, it will protect you against a nerve agent or these chemical agents that are floating down around. So this is what you're gonna need to wear to go back into this chemically uh, insane environment to get to your house, I understand you got to get to your house. By all means, get to your house, but don't sacrifice your life to go into a, a, a Chernobyl area when the FDA is lying to you and telling, yeah, go home. Don't worry about it. Oh, the dead livestock, the, the, the dead chickens, all the dead fish. Ah, that's just, that's just, uh, that, well, that, that, that's not going to affect you as a human being. Don't worry about it. It's not going to affect you at all. You know, just head on in there and, and do your thing. So I wanted to make this video to talk about this. Hey, let me read some of this to you. So this is, this is what a chemical warfare suit is. I can't believe. <sighs> okay, check garment for proper fit. Use size predictability. Check for your approximate size. Trade items required. Uh, this is, uh, let's see what it says. Suit, chemical protective. Uh, let's see, it's just talking about how to wear it. Wear the suit with protective, oh yeah. Wear this suit with protective mask <laughs> hood. No shit. Of course, you're gonna want a glove set. Yeah, I agree with that. Um, and then of course, you really do want boots. Uh, we used to wear those chemical warfare boots and then we pull the chemical warfare suit and then tie it off on top of the boots. But you can wear pretty much any boot in this type of environment, I think, and, and probably get away with it. You know, I don't think you're heading into, um, I mean, you're heading into a bad damn place, don't get me wrong, but I mean, I, I can't believe that nobody's giving this advice. What the hell? Am I the only person on earth that knows about these damn things? Holy moly. All right, so let's just get, into, so look, it, it, all right, so now he talked about blowing up the chemical, chemicals and setting fire to them, all right? I do know a bit about chemicals because I worked on an air base. Okay, that's where, I, by the way, here's another thing you might want to, damn it, where the hell is it at? Oh, here you go. This is the um, Air Force Handbook, 324014, Volume 4. Of course, this is from 1998. UASF ability to survive and operate procedures in a nuclear, biological, and chemical NBC environment. That's my manual. Okay, I pull it out occasionally. I read a few pages. I always try to, you know, of course, I've already read the whole damn thing. I was in the military. 
if you don't have some sort of documentation in your house on how to survive a nuclear, biological, and chemical environment, and you certainly, these people don't seem to have any gear to survive it, I don't get it. Am I just the only prepper on the planet that plans for these damn things? I, I holy moly. And then, of course, today there were other reports that the, the, the chemicals, they're testing for these chemicals in Louisiana. That's how far downstream they've gone. This is, a, this is a chemical disaster engineered by the Democrats, by the Democrats, these eco-terrorists. Holy shit, where's Pete Buttigieg? Oh, the gay guy that got hired because he's gay. Don't tell me he got hired for his qualifications. The guy don't know shit about chemical weapons or chemical uh, disasters. He hadn't even visited the damn train. He probably, you know, he probably hasn't even been briefed on what's taking place. And he's supposed to be your Democrat chemical, uh, I mean, your transportation secretary? The guy's an idiot. Holy shit. I, I, I'm on my box today. I'm going to tell you what. Uh, this, is, this is just unbelievable. So, and, and at the very least, these idiots that blew up the chemicals or set them on fire should have at least had access to, I mean, I assume on the train somewhere that there should have been material safety data sheets which gives you all of the information, please, God, don't set the chemicals on fire. Don't blow them up. That would have been in the directions. Who were these people that blew up these chemicals? Do you understand what an ecological disaster? These were probably Democrats. They were probably Democrats that went in there and blew up the damn chemicals. So now we got, I mean, we took an ecological disaster and we turned it into a freaking Chernobyl. These people might not ever be able to return home. They're going to lose their farms. They're going to lose their businesses. They, people are going to die. Do you understand that? People are going to die from this, especially when you got the FDA telling them, yeah, go back to your house and get your stuff. Oh, man, I'm telling you, I, our, 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 our nation's gone to hell. I mean, it, this is unbelievable. We're, we're blowing up pipelines under the sea, creating, you know, a, a, an ecological disaster. I mean, all that methane that came up from the ocean, I mean, I can't imagine the number of sea animals and, and, and creatures that we killed. We, basically, that water around that area where they blew up those pipelines will probably never be fishable for the next hundred years. This is, this is what the Democrats are doing. So now we've, we've taken a whole section of the ocean and we've turned it into a freaking Chernobyl Okay, now we've taken an entire area of Ohio and turned it into the second Chernobyl. And the Democrats are doing it. This is supposed to be your, your ecological party. Where, where are the eco-terrorists? Where are the, where are the, the economical, uh, the, the eco-democrats? Uh, Why aren't they condemning this? You know, the guys that put nails in trees and, and have, have uh, foresters that, that blow their hands off with their chainsaws because they're trying to protect the damn tree. They don't give a shit about contaminating hundreds of miles of, of fertile farmland in Ohio. How about, you know, destroying a major portion of the ocean? Where are the ecologists? Where's, where's uh, what's the damn green, uh, the green party, the whatever? Uh, what is that damn organization that goes around on their ships and, you know, uh, Greenpeace? Where's Greenpeace on this? Where are them idiots? These leftist lunatics. Holy shit. All right, let's, let's, um, I'm just gonna, I, I, I'm gonna get off of this. I think I've said enough. I've talked about chemical suits. I've talked about masks. I've talked about what these people need. I understand their need to get back to their houses, but do it in a safe manner. Have the proper gear. And why isn't, why isn't FEMA there providing these people with the proper gear? If they're going to tell them to go back to their houses, then at least give them the, 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 the tools that they need to go back. I mean, I understand the need. I would be going back to my house, but I'd be dressed in a chemical warfare suit. All right, let's get on to the other news here real quick. This is my watching the world burn uh, video. Um, so I, I tried to help you. That's, that's what I, the main purpose of this video was to show you what you need in a chemical environment to survive. All right, I know that a lot of civilians don't understand this stuff. All right, so uh, on a financial note, SD Bullion has um, uh, rounds. They're offering their yearly... Uh, 
deal. I can't remember, it's an anniversary, and they're only $1.89 over spot. These are silver rounds, uh, hell of a deal. Right now, so silver spot's only just over $22. I, I wish I had the money, I, I don't have any more money. Um, speaking of money, I, good Lord, I paid, uh, it was $7,000 I paid for my funeral in advance, and with inflation, I figured I better get that out of the way, because I'm not married no more, I'm divorced. Oh, by the way, somebody commented on the plant. Check it out. It's another plant. <laughs> this is, this is, I had two plants in the house. Yes, the other one was dead. I'm, I, I know, I kill plants. Maybe I put chemicals in there. I, I did put some miracle Grow in there. Maybe I put too much. I don't know. Uh, if you're a plant person, you can give me some advice on keeping house plants alive. Uh, I just, uh, every now and then, I put them out in the rain, and then, and then I put some miracle Grow in there, and that's, that's all that I do. Maybe there's some other things I should be doing to keep these house plants alive. Um, oh yeah, so today the NATO um, uh, commander or the the head of NATO came out and said uh, they've been supplying uh, training. Let's see. Uh, well, let me get get down to the where it's at. Well, training weapons and ammunition to uh, right uh, Ukraine since 2014 preparing them for a war with Russia. So now imagine, you know, everybody says, oh, you're pro-Putin, you're pro-Russia. Yes, I am pro. I, I'm, and, and But somebody pointed out today is, is that Russia is not our enemy. They're an adversary, okay? I don't view Russia as an enemy. I view them as an adversary, okay? And they should be treated with respect. Uh, and so anyway, um, but... Uh, but your disrespect in a country when you're going to arm the nation right next to them to the teeth, which is what NATO did since 2014. They were training Ukraine for this war, and, uh, and they admitted it today. I mean, it, it, the things that come out of these guys' mouths, it, it, it just doesn't look good for the West or, 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 or certainly the United States. Every time I hear them say something, it's like, holy shit, I can't believe they just admitted that. So yeah, we've been, we've been basically equipping, and that, so I want the analogy would be as if Russia came over and armed Mexico for a war with the United States since 2014. How would you look at that? I'm just saying, just saying. Uh, Dr. Steve Turley, I'd love his positive videos. He says that Christianity, Christianity is uh, sprouting all around the world. And I did not know these numbers. Uh, and I pointed, I pointed out to somebody who made a comment on my videos that uh, Russia is now a Christian nation. Uh, people don't understand that. That's no longer the Soviet Union, you know. The, the Russian Orthodox Church, 70% of Russians, Russians now identify as Eastern Orthodox Christians. That's, um, that's a pretty positive development. By the way, uh, um, I, please, God, forget about the damn balloons. There's a lot bigger shit going on in the world. That's just a... CIA PSYOP. Can, haven't you noticed that the, the CIA PSYOPs that have been conducted on you with the, with the masks and with the, with the uh, shot and, you know, with the jab and with all of the stuff that they've done in the last three years? Do you think that they're going to they're, they're not going to try to wag the dog and divert your attention from what's really important and what's really going on? Oh, my God. If you haven't learned that by now, I don't know. Um, that, you know, that, this is this is my comment. Um, because uh, I watch a lot of uh, Scott Ritter and, um, and, you know, and he was kind of pointing out that Russia is not going to come to the peace table. No way, no how. Not until Ukraine uh, is, is sitting like we did to Japan. When we came off of the, um, what was it, a battleship? I think it was a battleship. Uh, or Somebody give me the history on that. That... Uh, uh, who was it? Uh, was it MacArthur? I think it might have been MacArthur. And he walked across and said, um, sign here or die. That was basically the message of the United States to Japan because we just dropped two nuclear bombs on their nation. And I think that's where we are with this war in Ukraine. Uh, Russia's going to fight this thing until Ukraine, and they tell Ukraine, sign here or die. Because that's the only choice they got at this point, in my opinion. So uh, and, 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 and based that on the fact that the Russian people and I, I, I'm going to put this graphically, they are bloodthirsty right now. The Russian people are not going to allow their government to to go to the peace table until Ukraine uh, says, you know, we will no longer be a part of NATO and we will no longer fight Russia ever again. 
That's the only peace treaty that I can see getting negotiated, no matter what the NATO or, or Ukraine or that idiot Zelensky. Like I told you, Zelensky is going to he's going to be drinking pina, pina coladas in Morocco with a ton of U.S. money. He's not going to face anything. Um, uh, yeah, and, and, and somebody pointed out today that uh, there's a hell of a lot of mines on the Ukrainian front line. So it's going to take the Russians to work their way through all of these mines because we've been mining these areas since 2014. Can you imagine how many mines are in the ground? Suppose I, as a soldier, suppose I just put 10 in a day. <laughs> you know, what I mean? <laughs> that's just one dude, right? Imagine 100,000 putting in 10 a day. That's a million mines. There's probably a million mines and, and the, the Russians are going to have to work their through this. That's why they're not advancing across Ukraine. That's another reason. Of course, they're shoring up their, their um, supply lines. Uh, I guess I'm getting to about the end of this video. Um, uh, yeah, and, and, and something Russia pointed out today, and I agree with this, they said that NATO promoted itself as a defensive organization, but by arming Ukraine to the teeth and training them to fight a war with Russia, they were an offensive organization. So their mission originally was to be a defensive uh, block against the Soviet Union, but I, I would say the United States corrupted them into an offensive weapon. So I can understand that uh, Russia sees them as, you know, us providing weapons, training, and ammo to Ukraine for how many years? 2014 to 2022? What's it, eight years? I can see their point. I see their point. That's all I got to say. And definitely, uh, if you get the chance, read Cy Hirsch on the Nord Stream Pipeline. An amazing read. I hadn't read the whole thing uh, until today. And, uh, man, he lays it out blow by blow. So the last piece of positive news I'm going to end up with here because man I've been on my box on this video was uh, Roseanne Barr uh, she came on Fox News and I didn't know I you know I never really knew what happened to her and I kind of liked her show I thought it was cute I didn't know she said she voted for Trump I thought that was pretty cool that she uh, actually came out and said that but because you know of her I guess they consider them right-wing views or whatever and to me she's more of a leftist than a rightist but uh, they canceled her that's why we haven't seen her. I, you know, I don't, you know, I don't really pay attention to these things. She hadn't been on the scene for about five years, and so she just did a stand-up comedy routine called "Cancel This," and uh, she's fighting back against uh, Hollywood. And I think that's a good thing. I think we're seeing. And I wanted to leave you on a positive note. You know, not only are, is the world becoming more Christian, more belief in God, uh, we've got comedians like Roseanne Barr fighting against the leftist mob. Um, you know, uh, are we going to right this ship? No. I think the only thing that's going to save us is either a civil war or a uh, convention to the states. Uh, the, the federal government is completely out of control. And that's another thing. So we don't know, getting back to the train for just two seconds, I know I've, I've exhausted this topic. What is the reason the train derailed? Where is the FBI investigating the reason for the train derailment? Okay, oh, you know where they are. They're looking for white supremacists. <laughs> They're touring the country looking for white supremacists. They're probably arresting Trump supporters right now. But uh, this, 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 this ecological, this, this Democrat eco-terror event that just took place, there's not an FBI agent there to be seen. At least I didn't see any today, did you? Have you been able to find any news on it? I don't know. Peace out, stay free, and it's good, 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 good to live in the free, free, free Republican state of Florida. And I'm going to get back to the mask one last time. All right? You can pick up this mask. Now, it took me months to get it, but this is available at Walmart. You, you have to order it online. You're not going to be able to pick it up in the store. And uh, it might take, uh, man, I think... Well, actually, I had to order it about three times. <laughs> you know, I, I don't know what's going on with the mask manufacturing, but it took them a long time. To, but I eventually finally got it. And it's, well, then the, the price fluctuated. At that time, it was between $100 and $140. And each time I ordered it, the price changed. Sometimes the price went up. Sometimes the price went down. But you got to have a good mask in your house. Get you a good, a full face plate mask. And it doesn't have to, but a 3M, 3M's a good company, at least they used to be, I hope they still are, um, and get you, and if nothing else, you might be doing a project in the garage with some mere acid or something, right? And then you're going to need a mask like this. So get you one on hand, spend the 100 bucks, 
Because you don't know. Maybe the next chemical disaster is going to happen outside your house. Maybe, maybe we'll be in a global thermal nuclear war. And you, you know, you're going to want to wear this so you don't breathe radioactivity until you can get out of the, the radioactive zone, for example. You know, which, of course, you're going to need a, a, a radioactive a nuclear biological chemical suit. Now, what, th this was another thing I hadn't thought of, was what could you do as an alternate to a chemical biological suit? Well, you could definitely put some clothes on, you know, long sleeve shirt, uh, some, some pants. Uh, hopefully you've got some uh, twist ties or even, uh, you know, I, I have boot blouses. You might want to get some of those, you know, tie off your pants at the bottom, uh, put some boots on. And then get you uh, one of those paint suits, you know, one of the full body paint suits that co covers your entire body and then wear the mask underneath the paint suit. So then at least your skin has some protection because you'll be covered from head to toe. You not only do you have the added layer of clothes underneath the paint suit, you got the paint suit, which covers everything from head to toe. You know, if you got the boots bloused off at the bottom. I mean, it's not the best chemical suit in the world and it certainly wouldn't protect you in a, a massively radioactive environment, but it should do pretty good. And then, of course, when you get to wherever you're going, uh, hopefully you get out of the, the, uh, the, the highly uh, intense area, uh, you just burn. You burn it all. You know, that's what you got to do. Uh, and, and hopefully there'll be some decontamination unit, but not with our U.S. government. Hell, they, they probably don't even have civilian uh, decontamination units, for all I know. All right, peace out. Stay free.